Hey guys, what's up? It's me and my name is Bilal. Hey guys, so I just wanted to hang up a cloth here to have some privacy, you know. So that's what I have done and uh, I will now have some privacy over here, okay? Okay guys, so I will do this in a few steps and first step I will just track my hand and in the next step I will attach that motion to a dummy and then I will create a cloth and on that cloth I will apply the force modifier and it will and I will then simulate it so that's the steps that I will do so here we go okay so first of all what you will do is come here to this tab and select the camera tracker okay now this will be none here so click on this and this is the footage okay so now you know how to track an object in a video just create a new tracker and place it on that just like this you can resize the tracker and now come down and turn it on and you can just track all the frames at once by clicking on this button or you can track one frame by frame so now it depends on your footage if it is very blurry so you will have to track it for every frame and if it is good then you can track it all the way okay so when you are finished with the tracking okay so now you can see I have just finished with the tracking I am at frame number 530 so similarly when you finish your tracking then turn it off and you can close this now at this moment you will have all the frames tracked you can just set stop at that number frame I am at frame number 530 so I will click on set stop and this tracker is now tracked from 0 to 530 while the whole video is 0 to 769 let's just select a box and here select a camera and a free camera rotate it towards that okay that's it now come back to the camera tracker and from here choose tracker click on this and then select the box set the animation size to what the number of frames we have tracked a little more than that just like that and now okay so <coughs> instead of the box I have used this dummy here so you can see all the keys are inserted and now this moves just the way my hand was moving you can set the background to that video just do this method and here you can see that dummy is just attached to my hand and it is attached to my hand throughout the video 
now what you will do is just create a box and click on this and then click on that dummy and align its position with that and then attach it to that dummy so it moves along with that dummy it's a little misaligned so you can that's it so now this box will act as a physical object which will collide with the cloth and which will interact with the 3d object and so it will look like i am interacting with the 3d object okay now set to the front view and what we'll do is we'll create a cloth so to do that come here to the line and select the line and then draw the outline of it that's it now this will be the cloth from the modifiers come here and select the garment maker you can see its mesh it is not much denser so you will have to increase it a little just like that would be enough position the cloth in a better space ok I think that would be good now the next thing that we will do is we will apply the cloth modifier just like that what I have done then select this line 3 which is this cloth object to cloth and that's it select ok and select add objects and select box number 1 here the box 1 comes and select is it as a collision object ok so now what you need to do is just press ok and look at this now <coughs> this object box here collides with the cloth now what are the next step is you will have to do the simulation for all the frames now how much frames do we have we have let's say we do the simulation of 500 frames so here select the end frame to 500 and turn on the cell collision so with this the cloth will also collide the cloth will also collide to itself during the simulation ok so now
Let's set view to this and now you can simulate it. Okay, one step remains here. If anything goes wrong, so you can hit the escape button and erase simulation. And that's it. Come down to the group here and in the front select the top vertices all of the top vertices and create next group ok that now insert a new dummy here just roughly and it will not move throughout the animation now come back to the groups and select here and click on node and select this dummy so with this what happens that these vertices will not move throughout the video throughout the simulation and they will be just hanged at here they will be attached to this position now select back the camera viewport and now press the simulate So this is just an example of how this will work. Here you can see it went wrong so you can erase the simulation and just make this box a little smaller. while it is at here it does not collide that's it now do the simulation again So there you can see how the box interacts with the cloth. Okay so after just setting that box a little bit and working with it I have managed to create this. I have hidden that box so it doesn't it is not shown here in the video of course you will not have to render that object in the video so I have hidden that and that's it now you just can apply any material which you want just like this one here I will use this, it's my channel name so I will use it. Ok and you will be thinking that uh, how will you render the video, your original video with this. So come here to the environments and effects which is present here in the render settings. You can come here directly by pressing at and from here in the environment map 
select it and come down to the maps and in the bitmap and from here select that video now when you render the video so when you are rendering the video the that original video will also render along with it i'll just render one frame here just to show there you can see if it is not here then what will happen is that when you render you will get this color at the background so you will have to <coughs> so you will have to set that video over here and then just render the whole video and that's it and if you have any questions in your mind so you can ask that in the comments and please subscribe for more tutorials and thanks for watching hi guys so i just wanted to hang up a cloth here to have some privacy you know so that's what I have done and uh, I will now have some privacy over here, okay?